Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And this video is about um, anger and everything that is in it. Well, not everything that's in it, but some bits. So, um, to get started, I know some of y'all have some, some things y'all like to keep hidden, some things you guys like to keep tucked away, and some things that nobody, no, none of us like to bring up to the light or talk about. And I wanted to make this YouTube video partially, mostly without my face, so you can just see a black screen. And one, have to like just stare at the black screen and be like, why is there a black screen here? But two, also, that black screen will give you some, since you're not distracted by my face and my facial features, you will have some time to actually just see a black screen and think about it. If you feel like thinking about it. But anyway, this is just a little something to help you all out. So sometimes when we um, experience things and we go throughout life, we get to parts in our life that are very harmful. The experience turns out to be harmful or what we do or have intended to do that we may have meant for good turns out to be harmful. And so we sometimes blame ourselves for it. And, um, where is, hold on, give me one second. All right, I'm back. And, you know, we need something to help us get through that. But we don't really know what to call it. So I'll give you an example to make it a little bit simpler and easier for you to understand. <clears throat> so let's say you were in kindergarten and you have this friend, right? Her name's Samantha. Um, you can give her whatever race or whatever you want to give her, I guess. And you got this friend in kindergarten named Samantha. And so one day, you and Samantha are hanging out, and she pushes you off a swing. And you fall on the ground. You know how hard gravel is or them wood chips? Yeah, them little bastards. Yeah, you land on some wood chips. And, you know, you get some splinters from wood chips. And so after you get the splinters in the wood chips, you go home crying, and you're telling your mom, and you're angry, and you're upset. You're like, Mom, Samantha pushed me off the swing today. Little boop. <laughs> she pushed me off the swing, and it hurt, Mom. And, you know, you're talking to your mom, and she's like, well, okay, um, blah, blah, blah. Your mom helps you. You know, you take out all the splinters. You rest it up, bandage it, and you go to sleep that night. So you go to school the next day, and you're just mad at Samantha. You, you you so mad at Samantha, you just want to, you, you want to choke her out at the lunch table. You know, you want to throw an apple at her head. <laughs> you want to throw an apple at her head, throw some at her head, because you just pissed off at Samantha. You're just like, mm, I want to kill this girl. But y'all in, uh, in kindergarten, remember that. Y'all can't kill each other. Not yet. You gotta wait till high school. And so you get to high school, and you still don't like Samantha. You guys have had classes all throughout middle school elementary school what was it is it called like head start there you go <clears throat> after you know before kindergarten i think it's head start so you guys have all, had all classes and stuff together but really when you think about it were you really mad that samantha pushed you off the swing or that samantha was your friend and she pushed you off the string or could you be missing the point entirely what if Samantha was trying to get you off the swing so she could get on, but she didn't know you were there? But then why would it be pushing? I'm asking these questions kind of to get you all to under, to kind of think a little bit, because I'll give you an example. Um, this is not me personally. Okay, so my friend and his friends went out one day, and um, this is like a really distant friend because I stopped talking to this friend like a while ago long time ago and so him and his friends they went out um you know drinking and whatever but there was this one this one friend that hadn't you know ever drunken in a long time or ever drunken at all and so you know they're all college students so you know how they you know college students are you know they like to party and stuff and this one friend she she just she lost she you know she lost it all in the car she she threw it up in the, in the car in the street but you know since they're college or their school had a strict, um, you know, ban on alcohol and whatever, they couldn't exactly call the campus police or the 
anybody to help for that matter. So if they called, you know, emergency services, they're like, we're going to get in trouble. We're going to we're going to get kicked out of school. I'm like, well, you're right. You got that there. You're definitely going to get kicked out of school for that. Oh, boy. Just you wait. And so what they decide, what one of the friends, dude, he got really, really mad because we should, he was like, we shouldn't have brought her out here. We shouldn't have done this. We shouldn't have done that. We should have said no more drinks. We should have said, we should have said all these things to keep this girl from doing what she did. And he started yelling and cussing at all these, uh, his other friends. And he was just like, he lost. He just went off on all his friends. And one of his friends, the other female, was really upset. And she ended up crying and crying and crying for, for um, I want to say hours. Yeah, I think, I think it was hours, what he told me. She was crying for like hours or something like that. But what that one friend actually was feeling was that he was helpless. Because he couldn't make the situation better with what he had been, the cards he had been dealt with at the time. So sometimes when we get angry about things, we either feel like we have been, um, have been served an injustice or we have been treated wrong and we don't know how to word it because of we're afraid that whatever we say or we'll try to say will be um, misunderstood and completely just um, blown out of proportion or what we do or will say won't have any effect on the situation it won't make the situation any better and that's what leads people to get angry and to be upset and also things if you were a child and something happened to you, um, I don't want to say anything like rape or anything or like child molestation because, well, I mean, yeah, those are pretty heavy issues. So, yeah, let's take one of those. Um, uncle goes on the granddaughter, Jesus Christ. And you, you know where this is going. I'm not going to go and elaborate any further, but to let you all get an example of it, that girl or boy or whoever is upset because of something they could not control, something they could not change or fix or mostly change or fix, something that they can't go back and rewrite history to make it where it's different. And that having that or having someone that's not there, someone that should have been there when they're not there, someone that something like that where something's missing from the picture that needs to be there and you want to add that but it's not there so you can't go and you're not god and you can't go and add it in it's more like it's missing and you want to do something about it but you can't do anything about it because you feel powerless about the situation about what happened back then and that's what makes people angry and stay angry for long periods of time so um because I had discovered, um, due to what my friend said, I was like, yeah, he's, he's, he's right about that. Um, I'm not going to tell you who the friend is. If you know me, you know who the friend is. Um, if you know me, like, if you're one of my college friends or whatever, then you know who it is. Um, otherwise, you may not know. <laughs> but, yeah, just that's just a video to let you all know. It's kind of a dark video, I'd say. But it's just a video to let you all know how to deal with anger a little bit to find out why why you're angry this is more like a why you're angry rather than how to deal with it if you want I'd make a video on how to deal with anger um, if you let me know in the comments let me know with a like and or subscribe I know it's pretty late um, it's probably about like what 10 a.m. 11 a.m. in Japan but other than that, it's like 10 a.m. anywhere else, unless you're Canada. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you all have a nice night and a good night, what? <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching and listening. If you like the video, give a like and don't subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.